Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Azuminati server. How's everybody doing? I'm doing pretty good myself today. Enjoying some time off. Which means, a bit of time to record. So here we are, with our lovely little sieve setup that we did last episode. In the lovely now finished basement. Oh, told you I'd decorate it. It's pretty snazzy. Uh, put a small little crucible set up over here. Uh, melting netherrack. Um, just because I don't really need that much lava. This is my own private source. See, it's blue. Which means I put a diamond on that. And it's my own personal source. Nobody can access it. Um, I figure I'll burn netherrack. Per operation I guess you could say uh, cobblestone will melt down for 250 millibuckets of lava per cobblestone uh, netherrack will burn down to a thousand millibuckets ie one bucket of lava per netherrack so essentially right here I'm sitting on 1574 buckets of lava and of course I'm probably never going to even use that much so I've got a whole bunch more up here and I've been messing around with it and discovered that you can use an auto packager right out of a sieve. It's just, just right there to an inventory. Done. I've been playing with um, getting Ardite and stuff like that. Uh, Ardite and Cobalt from Crush Netherrack and yeah. But we're not going to be dealing with that today. Or anything down here. Despite how cool it looks. We're not dealing with it. What instead we are going to be doing is outside. So I've been doing a little bit out here. Uh, moved the smeltery over here. Got a little bit of a cactus farm going. 39 cactus. It's getting there. Um, what we're going to be working on first of all actually is, is this path right here. Uh, this will lead from the atrium exit. Hello, wildlife. Um, and right now it leads down to the mob farm. Now, of course, it will lead a whole bunch of other places, etc., etc. Uh, you know, it's it's not limited at all. Hi, guys. How goes dying? They're having fun. Um, so this is partially why I needed to clean up out here. Uh, I mean, it'll, you know, then I go and make a mess with a vine farm, but that's okay. Wee vines. Um, because I wanted to start doing paths. So I'm, you know, going to connect it over to here and, and probably loop it around and pull it back through here. We'll see what I do with the path everywhere. I mean, it's going to go off a whole bunch of places and we're going to have different buildings and different fun cool stuff to do so the path is quick and easy it needs cobblestone and it needs moss stone now pretty sure I have more of that well oh yeah I put it right here in a drawer <laughs> There goes me being all thinky and stuff like that. Uh, so we will need a chisel. Because for the past stuff, we use this stuff. Right? That's what we use. Aligned, aligned cobblestone. Well, this is detailed. This is the wrong stuff. That's okay. The, I guess the house can have its own thing. We will go detailed with these guys. It's really not that much different. It just has a little bit of shadowing in it. Okay. Sure. I'm going to lay the path down. And you know what? You know what? I got this guy. I got this guy. Ho ho. Magic wand. Smack. 
so much quicker. If you don't have one of these, invest in one. It makes building so much faster. Look at that. We just did that whole section lickety split. Now, for this, however, I am a little conflicted as I want, but as a little conflicted as to what I want to do because I can do, you know, there's a path here because, oh, well, that's tragic. And again, reminds me, I really need to keep doing that. Um, but then also because there's a gate here, there'd be a path coming out here and it's just like, do I really want this this pad, essentially? I mean, we can do something like that and, you know, have the path come down there. And, I mean, that would work. But is it something I really want? Or I could move the gate over. Oh, but that would never align because those are too wide. These are three wide. Maybe we'll just stick it like this. We can have a little pad. That's fine. Maybe I'll find some decoration to do with it. Um, I don't know if I really need that in there then. I'll have to get some dirt to fill that in. Um, what I have been doing for these guys is, is making slabs out of them with the micro blocks so we can just do something like that where it's a nice little step up step down that's pretty cool and then it's just a matter of randomly there we go find a good landing spot where we can see all of it uh, randomly intermixing this uh, mossy stone in it so we can even just run around and just see where it breaks. I'd say that's pretty random. I'm not aiming this thing. I'm whoop, doing left and right and hold and click. Wherever it breaks is where it breaks. So we stick some mossy in there. Na 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 da da da. Whoopsies. There we go. A little bit more like it's a little bit, little weather-worn path. Let's stick one right up there too. Um, for here, actually, I had an idea. Also, again, using these slabs, we can do a little railing. I mean, of course, obviously, I'm going to need more slabs. But that is okay. See, what do you think of that? It's just, it's a little railing. And you can still kind of see the gap there, but... I don't mean, of course, you can jump over it, but... What we could also do is... Make them into pillars? And how would that work? Then it would come out the middle like that it'd still be kind of a railing then I just kind of wish it could come out the top hmm I'm not sure which one I like best I think I'm going to stick with that one let's just do that Uh, and of course, I'm going to be one shy. Just because it's all odd numbers and they're evenly crafted. So, you know, little details like that. Um, another idea I had. If I have any. It does not. You know, I really need to move all this storage inside because that's where the rest of my stuff is. And I'm pretty darn sure I already have some crafted. In the meantime, we can grab some dirt. And, aha, see? 
Ah, those are all oak leaves, though. Where's the other ones? Aha, there we go, birch. Uh, see, oak leaves, unfortunately, in this biome do not look exactly so stellar to me. And we can see here, we've got oak on the right, birch on the left. Birch is looking a lot more green. Uh, it's just the biome. It's the savanna. Fish what it does. So I figure what we can do is take something like this and do a little wall or a fence. And that'd be pretty cool. Something like that. Oh, Ooh, wow, the train's not loading. Load. Ta-da! Okay, seriously, world. Like, load. You're ruining the backdrop. Anyway, let's focus on the foreground. What do you think? For a little path. I think it could work. Not so sure about leading it over here, grant you, but maybe we'll just do something like that to end it off. Just because it, it doesn't really fit the idea of, of here's a mob farm. Oh, look, bushes, you know? There we go. That's, I do like that. It works for me. Um, what we can do then, in kind of sticking with what I have over there, we can use these torch guys on top. Oh, I already do have them there. Look at that. I was thinking ahead. I never do that. What kind of weirdness is this, thinking ahead? Um... So yeah, what do you guys think? You like it? I think it's a good start to the paths, and and you know it can split off anywhere. Like I can easily just punch a hole through and make a new path, and all I have to do is is make a corner, make an intersection, and, and it'll work. And it's not like birch leaves are hard to get. And these guys, they're from Ganny's surface, and they're just crafted with two leaf blocks on top of another and they give you four so that's pretty cool and they're like they're a wall and you can stack them and they look just peachy pretty sure they don't require silk touch nope okay just the axe harvests them quicker and my axe happens to be silk touch so I wasn't sure share this is not the whole plan for today. Obviously, that would be a touch boring. Okay, we're gonna spend a whole half hour building a path. Like, no. The plan for today, actually, is to get a little bit vanilla. Uh, I have been in need of an automated sugarcane farm. Uh, not necessarily a need because I don't have sugarcane, but just because I use a fair amount of it. I've got 1,600 of it left, so that's plenty. But, come on. We want more. Um, and in previous world, namely... Uh, the fourth iteration of my server, um, I had a slime block farm. It was pretty snazzy. It was really simple. And I think I'm going to replicate it. Now, the only problem is being the fact that mods are in 1.7. Slime blocks were only added in 1.8. However, 
thanks to the power of mods, we actually do have slime blocks. They're just crafted a little differently, and it was a long shot that the infinity bucket would work. So what we're going to do is temporarily punch a hole there so I can put a bucket down, pick it up. And what we do is that. And see, it makes us a slime block. Now this should have the same properties. Ooh. Well, it's a little more bouncy than its vanilla counterpart because you only bounce when you jump on it. And it takes longer to break. Oh, it wants a shovel. Interesting. Yeah, it, it's a little bit different, but that's okay. I don't mind. As long as the rest of its properties remain the same, it's all good. So I'm going to craft these guys up. And I'm going to gather the rest of what I need. And we'll be right back. Alrighty. Well, my inventory has got a bunch of stuff in it. And, yeah, there's a couple of modded things. We've got Carpenter's Block. Really, that's the only thing modded here. If you consider Slime Blocks to be 1.8 as opposed to having been modded in. Uh, and of course I guess modded glass texture but whatever everything else is vanilla um, so we're going to actually be making this a dual purpose farm we're going to be using sand and netherrack because I want to grow regular old sugarcane and then the glowing reeds from Ganny's nether because that's used for glowstone and sugar Ooh. so that's always useful now, I want to try and keep this all in one chunk. So I've got this chunk right here. It's right next to the path. And what we're going to do is each one will have four uh, slime blocks. Ah. So sure. there's going to need to be a gap of one between them because glowing reeds need lava. Sugar cane needs water. We all know the drill. So it'll be, you know, the. I, I'm not going to use these guys because they, they take so long to break. But little representation, you know, do something like that. It's still all within the chunk. There's still another two blocks. But also here, it's nice and lined up with the atrium. So. From here, we've got to dig out a bunch of this. Just get rid of all of it. Because it's going to have to be a couple of blocks deep. Because I don't necessarily want it sticking over. I mean, it could maybe like bring it up to that level. But if maybe even we can keep the, the top of it that, that would be perfect. Well, We need the reeds, both types, to at least be able to grow to too high before we harvest them. So if we go down maybe one more block, let's see how that looks. So if we grab out the reeds, Pretty sure that's just regular sugar cane. Yes. Okay. And we say three high. Putting the sand down there. Oh, there's no water next to it. <laughs> it can do something like that. It can grow to too tall. And then we'd have... I, I wouldn't put dirt there. There'd be a block there. And then the ceiling to the machine could be there, and the slime blocks could be right there. And then from the path, you can still kind of see down into it. Mm, maybe if I push it back another block. 
Maybe two blocks. Well, let's see what it looks like in each case. If we do a sand, water, Yeah, that's a there. That's really hard to tell. You know, it'd be kind of cool actually if I just do it in this arc and then have the other side do the reverse arc. That could work. But the mechanism using slime blocks then wouldn't really work so well. And I would have to do even more traditional vanilla and go with just blocks on pistons or pistons themselves. The only reason why it's so useful to use slime blocks is because you only need one piston and you can move the whole thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, simplest way to do this uh, without, you know, worrying about complications with hitting the atrium we're just going to do it in a straight line like we originally planned. It'll give us a nice view from the path. And we'll have room for the redstone because it's really only about one block. It's all nice and compact redstone. So it's really simple. We just fill this side with water. Easy busy. And then we need obsidian on top of it because it needs to be an immovable object. And then probably right there we'll want the piston. Oh. Yeah. There we go. And something like that. And then we can do the sugar cane across the front. Now of course this is just for show. Um, we're going to need obsidian here and here. That's for function, actually. Um, whoa. OK. Uh, this other side, this other side will, will be the fun one. So this is going to be netherrack. And got a thing of lava. And we'll spread the fun around. And then we put obsidian on top of that. And we put the other piston right there. And even before we worry about getting the reeds in place. Let's get the obsidian in place. Slimy blocks. And then we should just be able to place you down. Ta-da! So yeah, we'll have something like that. And then what we'll need is on top, we'll probably use obsidian again. just because we need an, an, Im an immovable block up there and I'll put obsidian there but for right now this is my access. So what do you think? You think it looks good? Yeah? No? <laughs> it, it has no decoration thus far. Uh, let's get rid of the crafting table, stick it up there. What we're going to need to do... Knock all of those out. Hoppers! Not something you see in vanilla too often, or in modded too often, hey? People using hoppers? 
Um, actually, what we can do to make this really easy on us is... Where? There it is. Um, do we want the items down there? Because then we'd have to go down there. Or we want to try and maybe have them, like, go up somewhere. Hmm. Because, I mean, I could just do it, like, either right here in this block. No, 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 it have to. it would have to be here. Because it does need a hopper there to gather that last piece of cob or cobble. Yes, it's cobblestone now. Did you know that? That last piece of sugar cane. So put that one there. Hopper pointing into it. Ta-da! All right, quick and simple storage. Easy peasy. Um, let's put you down there, make you glow. Can I do? Aha, I can. Look at that. Snazzy. Uh, in terms of decoration, we're not going to do too much. Oh, whoopsie. Whoop. Japers. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a farm to walk past and go, oh, hey, look, you know, I need some sugar cane or I need some glowing reeds and... And away you go, you grab some and you're done. It's It'll look good. I I've always been a fan of stone half slabs. And then if we do glass in front I wonder if the magic wand can help us with this. Because I never I never like putting glass like that. Where's the magic wand? There's the magic wand. Builder's wand, magic wand, whatever. Aha, it can. See, look at that. Ah, see? And that's why I don't do it myself. And even with the builder's wand, I find a way to screw up glass placement. Come on. Properly. Thank you. So something like that. That's pretty snazzy. And then if all we do is cover that. In grass, we can blend it into the hillside. Don't have enough grass blocks. Do do do. What do you think? You think that works? I don't know. It still kind of feels like it's it's too close. I mean, I could push this path out more. It doesn't have to be in line with that. I don't know. Because, yeah, that seems way too close. Hmm. I don't know. I could lower the path at this point. Like, I could drop it down a couple of blocks. I realized then it would be a little bit like a roller coaster of a path. that's a little better even right there and then just have the half slab things like I do here I don't know it could work I don't know 
Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be quite that... I don't know, I guess I just didn't really measure it properly and think it through. See, my design on the other server, the path was like right on level, so you could see into it perfectly fine, it was great. This one, it seems a little bit much to lower the path by more than a block. Just for that. Because that seems a little much... Like a... Yeah, it, it, it seems like it's a little bit much to ask. What do you think? I think I'm going to leave it like that for right now. I might do a different cap along the front here, though. Just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more. Get rid of this lava bucket. Now, running out of room, running out of room. Never enough room in the inventory. See, because that frames it kind of nice. Yeah, that works, I think. I'm going to try it like that. Um, this is probably not going to end up staying as grass. But yeah, we need to get the redstone working. And that's really, really easy. Arm we need to do. That's what we should do. Ah, crap. That was dumb. That was very, very dumb. <sighs> okay. I think we're about done here. I decided I was going to bring the path down that one more block. And it looks okay. And this allows me to do this little step here. It works. It's really kind of snug. But it works. You can just kind of go up, and it's decently smooth. You can come down, get your stuff, all good. Now, down here is the redstone. And it's pretty simple. And it will go... I mean, everyone knows... I shouldn't say everyone. Okay, maybe you don't know the hopper clock. This is... Designed by Etho, it's, it's pretty much become the standard in a hopper clock, or in long timers in Minecraft. Uh, what you do is you put a whole bunch of items in the hopper, and the one without the redstone block will fill into it. So they're p facing into each other, and you'll get a compared output in the hopper or the, the pistons will push the redstone block back and forth, back and forth, as their respective hopper empties and the comparator goes off. So over here, it takes the signal out, but it will only pulse to the machine when the signal in this hopper is greater than the signal in this hopper. So if we put two stacks and 31 in there, and two stacks and 32 in there it should work just fine and the hoppers are in the same chunk even though the redstone is not that's okay so now what would happen in a regular clock is see this one's powered even though it you know it doesn't have that much in it it's still all powered but this guy this guy's not powered right now he should be but he's not because of this guy and this guy's in subtract mode. And this basically means it will only pulse once when this thing is completely full. We also then have a monostable circuit here. There's a regular piston underneath the sand. It will 
shorten it down to one tick and then we actually have this one on two ticks um, I mean we'll see I, I don't originally have it using a torch tower and I know torch towers add a bit of a delay too so we shall see how that works uh, in the meantime oh you could just hear the hopper down there fire um, if we just cover that up and then we take the glass and cover this up ta-da that should be the farm done and it should fire momentarily and hopefully it works well um, my only concern is that when it fires it might launch the wrong item across the gap so I might put like a dividing wall in the middle um, I might also put a row of blocks along the top just to prevent them from going to three high not that it's really that big of a deal but it would also hide the obsidian not that I need the obsidian because these slime blocks don't actually stick to each other or anything uh, I actually end up oh there it goes oh and see right there we unfortunately uh, can't have my magnet on um, or just not stand that close but yeah so there's a piston behind every slime block now and it works peachily and yeah okay I could have done this with mods I could do it with MFR harvester I could do it with vacuum hoppers you know and I might you know mod it up at some point just because depending on how well this works with the modded slime blocks I don't really know but I'll keep an eye on it. I will keep an eye on it and we will see. In the meantime, however, it's been going on long enough. I've been yakking at you. Yep. Long enough. So, whoops, wrong direction. You got a close up. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you like the build? Do you like how it looks? You think maybe we should have gone more modded, less modded, try not to use the slime blocks at all. It's not really supposed to be big. Having four of each will do just fine. I think it's pretty cool. What do you think of the paths? What do you think of, of using these bush fences? Yeah, bush fence thingies. Let me know what you think. Other than that, you know the drill. You're supposed to leave me a like, or a comment, or give it a share to your friends. Let them know about what I'm doing. And definitely, definitely, come back for next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>